All right, I'm representing the Midwest, especially Chi-Town, so I am making my Chicago-style Italian beef sandwich, all right? Oh. Our sandwich gift to the world. Jeffrey, can you cut these beautiful, vibrant green bell peppers vibrant. here? Nice and about, like, I don't know, like, inch-long okay. strips. Ton of oil, little granulated garlic, salt and pepper in a pan into the oven. We're gonna let them roast till they're a little, still a little toothsome, but nice and pliable. So you got beautiful. It. Now we got that chuck roast, right? So this is essentially Italian beef's pot roast style. We're gonna aggressively season it, salt and pepper. I got a Dutch oven here. We're gonna add a little oil just to help get it started. Salt and pepper. It's already tied the butcher to keep it all in one uniform shape, which makes it very easy to uh, sear in that pan, and right in there it goes. And you're gonna hear that sound and know it's working. And we're gonna sear not two sides. This roll has about six sides to it. So you wanna make sure that you're looking like that, Dang. every side. And this is something you don't wanna cook and then slice medium rare, right? You wanna slow braise it. So you wanna develop that kind of Maillard effect on the outside. The sugar's caramelized. It just adds flavor in the fond in the bottom of the pan, right? Look at that 360 degree yeah. angle. 360. So we got that beautiful rendered fat in here. We're gonna add just one chopped yellow onion. And we're gonna saute this. Just like this till it's nice and translucent. All right, now I like to add a little more salt to help sweat out those onions. You can extract more flavor. Start scraping all the fond on the bottom of the pan. And once these come, you know, nice and translucent and soft, we're gonna add our other aromatics, which is, of course, a couple cloves of garlic chopped right in here. And some dried Italian seasoning. It's gonna bloom in that fat as well. And a good amount of uh, crushed red chili flakes here. Oh yeah. Keep going. I want these swimming in oil. That's the best part about this. Everything's swimming in oil with this sandwich, <laughs> but it all comes together. That's good, see? I instructed him what to do, Katie. He just didn't go off. Like, who's your suit? We don't even know yet. You probably have a whole team. <laughs> so once you smell that garlic, we're gonna hit it with about a cup of good red wine. Right, that is beautiful into the oven. About 350 till it gets a little toothsome, but it's still you still want it pliable and cook through. Once the alcohol uh, kind of subsides here, we're gonna add our beef stock. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. well, I see what you're doing with the So we're making a braising liquid, right? All the beautiful juice and the and, and, and the fat from the meat. Look at these guys. Now that's what you want them looking like. Oh. Swimming in oil. Put put them on there. You know, make, make it nice for me, all right? Swimming in oil. Great little fresh thyme in there. And then we'll take our seared piece of meat, and we're gonna nestle it in there till it's a little over half covered, about 75% covered, so we'll look at this. And I'll just pour it all in there. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 300 for about three hours, and we're gonna turn it a couple times, right? What happens is, once we cover it, right, it's gonna, you know, kinda drip down, braise in all that, you should steam it, and then, during the last flip, we'll uncover it and kind of let that caramelization happen on top, dry it out a little bit. So into the oven. All right, beautiful. Let me go. Hey, let me get that for you. Thank you, buddy. Oh, man, it already smells good, right? I'm excited about this. Who do you think would win in a free throw contest between you and GZ? Oh, I would crush him. This guy, I don't want to see I mean, come on. Can you imagine the travesty of him show shooting a basketball? <laughs> When was the last time you shot a basketball? Honestly, 1981. God. Exactly. <laughs> Let me do look this. At his, look at these peps. Look at those beautiful those peppers. That's say. the only thing you've done. You know, so I want to say that even cold, like you put them in the fridge the next day. Oh, so good. Right? And that's what we're looking Ooh. like, right? Yeah. Once we take it out of there. Boom. Now, we, we took the butcher twine off, but why don't you start shredding this sure. for me, buddy? Here I got the braising liquid which we have strained and reduced a little bit to help intensify it. Oh. All right, normally you go to a beef stand, oh. right? Uh, and it's just dunked and it's with all that stuff, but we refine this I just a ready. little bit. Right there is like, that's how you want it. So you're just like, boom, coming up. Then you got that beautiful kind of bark on there we mm. developed mm. by mm. flipping it and the braising. Right? Let's, right. Be, let's build a beef. Jeffrey looking good there. How do I get cheese on it? No! <laughs> I get no! Cheese. Wrong city. <laughs> 
Okay, so look at these beautiful rolls here I got, right? Yeah. So nice. these are nice bakery yeah. rolls. They do make special. It's all about the bread with this, too. You can't just use soft bread. It's got to have a, a lot of structure. Uh, Jeff, got. don't think that you're talking covered up GZ seasoning your meat. I know, I saw, I saw that. I saw it, Katie. I saw that. Hey, hey Jeffrey, GZ, I, what stop we... helping them. Okay, yeah, I'm going to give like Jeffrey cheating. some of this beautifully seasoned, per my instruction, beef. I feel like that was cheating. Great, so we got the sweet and hot. So we got sweet the sweet hot. peppers. Couple Dip of these it. on there. And dip it. Some people say drag it through the river. Oh, yeah. Some would say beef sweet and hot juicy. Usually it's a dip. Okay. All right. And we're going to take that with the peppers on there. We got drag our juice here. We're going to drag it through the river. Jeezy's is going to eat this? Yeah, I dressed up just oh for this. Oh, my God. Boom, just a Watch little bit the in the French back. cuffs. Where's the fork? And now and here, knife? this is a very important part two step process. You got to wrap it for a little bit, right? Help let it steam. Oh and of course, you want some. Hot jardinera on there. And this is another, you gotta, I mean, this is, this is, we call this Chicago ketchup. It goes on everything, right? Chicago ketchup. It's gotta be the oily kind, not just the pickly kind. Jardinera. In the beauty of true Chicago style jardinera, it's lacto fermented. So much oh. like fermented oh. vegetables, kimchi, mm -hmm. it's fermented then packed in oil. So it's got bite to it, it's got great, you know, good for your gut too. Mm -hmm. And especially with all that oil in there. So <laughs> you wanna make sure you get that oil that kind of drips down like that. It's gonna Give be a little extra. to your gut. There you go. Is there a oh. bib? For Boom, GZ? just like they do in the beef stands. We're gonna wrap it real quick. Oh, quick, yes, Jeff. We're making one more. We're gonna let that sit. You're gonna try that one. Give me a little more beef here. Which try. one am I trying? No, that one's gotta sit for a minute. Do they gotta sit? It's, I like I like when it sits for a minute. Boom, hand me them sweet peppers oh. here, buddy. This we used to I used to have a deli called Primetime Deli with my cousin Dave. And we, uh, we used to make beef sandwiches there all the time. And there's nothing more gratifying than seeing somebody take that first bite of the beef. And they go, they shake And all head. the jus is dripping down, the jar and narrow oil. Yep. I'm sorry. You're in the bracket, too. We could be up against each other later, so. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Did you just sandbag me with that? <laughs> no. What Did I you over-season the meat? <laughs> no, it's perfect. All right, all right we're beautiful. Do that, Here we go. It. Beautiful. Right. So oh. this one's going to sit. in half for me? Cut it in half. No. That, I, what do you do? I'll cut it in half for you. Yeah. So look at, mm. all we did was rub this bread too in uh, some of the oil from the jardinera and dry toast it for a little bit. Oh, smart. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Again, that's, you know. Beautiful, look at that. Oh man, mm -hmm. look at that, huh, mm -hmm. Jeffrey? I'm mm -hmm. just all over that. Mm -hmm. All right, you got this. You got this. here you go. Oh. Please, I know you're not judging me right now, but... Okay. <laughs> He's got it, man. You nailed it. <laughs> the fat, the heat, the dip. The sweet? This is dip to perfection. Oh, yeah. 